you all had a great Labor Day vacation. And now that we're back, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, the first one is, is that, as you all know, I'm a new teacher here at the school. And so there's going to be a lot of uh, people looking at this classroom, right, from the superintendent all the way down to uh, fellow teachers in the math department. So there's going to be people walking in. They might come up o over your shoulder, and they might tap you on the shoulder and ask you, what are you doing today, right? Um, and, and so that's a little bit of a difficult question to answer because we have a classroom uh, goal that I set up, and then you also are all at different places in the curriculum. And so uh, what the first thing that you could do when you're thinking about how to answer that question is you can go to the Monday page of uh, the website, which I will have projected onto the front of the screen, and you could tell them that these are the objectives for today and that these are the standards that you're hitting today. Um, and then you can also go ahead and further explain that you're all at different places in the curriculum and that this is what you're specifically working on today. I'm trying to get uh, my Arkanoid game to uh, have the bricks disappear when the ball hits them, right? So something like that. And so just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know that that's going to be happening. And also, uh, we also have uh, these new quizzes that have appeared here on Code HS. Right, and, and so um, you know, I could treat them as real quizzes, where I'd have everyone take them all at the same time, and um, make sure that you know nobody's looking at anyone's piece of paper or anything like that. But I, I actually wanted to treat it a little bit more informally, right? So just go ahead and take them at your leisure. Um, they're just a double. They're just a check to make sure that you understood the basic concept of that one lesson. And so, if you watched the video, if you looked at the sample uh, lesson, I mean, the sample program, and then you actually did the programs, then you really should have no problems answering the quiz. Right? Which is why I'm trying. I'm treating them as an informal quiz, but they will count as your quiz grade. So make sure that. You do them correctly. Make sure if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me and I can clear up any discrepancies. Um, but go ahead and understand that these are going to be treated informally, but they will be graded um, as I, I believe I set it up as 10% uh, or maybe 5% of your grade. Okay, And so that's the quizzes. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is that we started here with Carol the dog. Some of you are working on your final challenges. Uh, others are halfway through the basic Java lesson. Right. And, and so I think that at the pace that we're going, um, that we're definitely going to be finishing the curriculum uh, for uh, the for the Code HS, um, the Intro to Computer Science, before the end of the year. So some of you might finish in December, some of you might finish in February, right? But I definitely uh, all of you guys will finish before the end of the year. And so there were two things that we could do in the in the meantime, right? We could go ahead and move on into the AP Computer Science curriculum, right? And so uh, I'm not sure if you'll be prepared or I would be confident if for you to take the AP Computer Science test after doing this curriculum here, um, but it's definitely something that... Uh, might want to take just to, I don't know, I guess extend your knowledge in computer science and just understand what you would be getting into if you decided to, to study computer science or take a computer science course at the university level. And so that's one option. Another option is for us to uh, build a website and then uh, build a JavaScript game, right? And so we have a, a game here. Uh, this is something I did with my students a couple of years ago. Um, it's a game called Cookie Clicker. And so um, you can see here you have all these animations. You have a cookie that you click on to gain cookies. And as you gain, your number of cookies goes up. Um, you can go ahead and buy things, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and buy a grandma. And a grandma costs 100 cookies. So I'm going to have to click on here 100 times. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting. OK, there we go. I got grandma who's available now. I click on grandma. And you can see here now my cookies per second goes up. So every two seconds, I get I earn a cookie in addition to me clicking. And as you go ahead and gain more and more cookies, well, you buy more of these upgrades. And you're able to produce cookies fast at a faster rate. And so I, I built this game with uh, some of my students. And uh, I was going to give you those two options, right? Either take the AP Computer Science course or um, build a website using Skeleton and build a, a JavaScript game using the JavaScript skills that we learned in the, in the first half of the course, right? So I just wanted to put that out there. 
let you think about it. And as we get to the part of the year where you're going to be ending with the Code HS curriculum, um, just go ahead and, and decide which uh, way you want to go. And so I'm going to pull the class maybe uh, two months down the line. And if the majority of you want to do the AP Computer Science course, then we'll do that. If the majority of you want to do Skeleton and uh, build this cookie clicker game, then we will do that instead. Okay.